Welcome to May. This is your general reading that will cover the general theme, the beginning, middle, and end of the month, the best part of the month, the biggest challenge, and then guidance and give you your crystal of the month that'll help you get through it um, as unscathed and as easy as possible, okay? It'll help you with all the things that you need. So um, this is for your sun sign. Career videos are gonna look like this and they'll come out soon. Um, so make sure you're subscribed and you hit the notification bell so you know when they come out. They are for your rising sign. This video right here will tell you um, why that is if you're not sure and then love videos come out halfway through the month and this is what they're gonna look like okay so let's get started if you're interested in what decks i'm using for this reading i've got the cosmic tribe tarot looks like this and then the angel prayers oracle by kyle gray um if you purchase them through the affiliate links down below i might get a couple cents which would be helpful in me continuing to make these videos because youtube pays you like I don't know, $20 a year. <laughs> um, but it doesn't cost you anything extra. So I would appreciate that if you're interested in buying a deck. And so, hi Pisces, welcome to May. So your general theme for the month is that you're not as connected as intuitively as usual. Like you're not as connected to the spirit world as typical, therefore it's gonna be hard to trust your intuition, okay? Now in the beginning of the month, it looks like um, it's all about showing love to other people. Whether this is, you know, romantic love or just being kind to your clients or, to, you know, taking extra time to cut the edges off of a sandwich for your child. Um, that's the theme for the beginning of the month. In the middle of the month, what's going on here is um, talking openly and honestly about other with other people about what's going on um, having really frank discussions and in, not in a negative way necessarily but just being super um, I guess honest number one but open and clear you might have to initiate conversations that are um, difficult for you but it's for the highest good now the end of the month there's a lot of anxiety and fear going on so what's up with that and they just say um, it has to do with the way that other people speak to you and you know what they're saying when they're being kind when they're being nice like what is their true intention there's a little bit of suspicion going on here kind of like how um, you know, sometimes like in middle school, um, the popular girls might say, hey, this boy, he um, really likes you just to embarrass you or something like that, right? Um, not that that's what's happening exactly, but that's just like an example of what I'm saying. Like if that never happened to you, you've seen it in a TV show somewhere. Um, you know, wondering if what people are saying when they're being kind, if it is their true intention or what's up with that. So let's look into that. Um, they're saying, you know, for everybody, that's the trouble with a general reading. For everyone, it's gonna be a different sort of situation here where um, there's some positive and negatives that come from this, you know, but whatever goes wrong is for a higher purpose, for a highest good that you'll discover um, in retrospect down the road. So try not to stress because stressing doesn't, and worry doesn't necessarily change any outcome, right? So what is going to be the best part of the month for you? Well, so they're like, those of you who aren't manifesting anything, who aren't like trying to attract certain things into your life, you don't know what you want, like, well then maybe nothing, right? You don't open up your um, Grubhub app and hit for delivery and then not pick something out and then get bummed out that nothing comes to your door. Like you have to place the order. You have to know what you want and then follow through with asking the universe for that for them to bring you anything. So that's really important for you. And um, in the description box below, there is an article that looks like this and on my blog that will kind of help you with that. And then I'll, also I've decided, um, cause there's a lot of struggles um, similar to this for many of the zodiac signs that I'm going to do, um, even though my life coaching, my happiness and purpose coaching is on an invite only basis for like certain clients that I think it would be a fit for, I'm gonna do a mini single session, I think for the month of May, um, to help people kind of figure this out, narrow it down, figure out what is it that you actually want so we can help you get it, okay? Um, so look forward to that a description, in the description box is a link to my site for that. Um, so the biggest challenge for you, is like 
you know, how can you really envision yourself surrounded by all of the material things that you want, all of the emotional things that you want, like the comfort and stuff like that, if you don't even know what you want, right? And unless you can have that vision as far as like a hope or a dream for your future in your head, then it's going to bum you out because what's there to look forward to? The keys to happiness is something to do, something to love, and something to look forward to, and you're missing the look forward to part if you don't even know what you want, okay? So um, the guidance for this month then for you, aside from figuring that out, is like you're not understanding or fully embracing the unconditional love that su surrounds you. Maybe um, it's not coming from people that are close to you, right? Especially at the end of the month. But it is always there around you, you know, by the universe, God, your angels. Maybe you don't believe it. But um, you have to accept what is coming to you as far as love and support from the spirit world in order to kind of open your heart to be open to blessings that would that want to come through for you okay and so i feel like that disconnect from the spirit world how you're not so like connected and intuitive this month is creating a bigger problem than you realize you're not able to fully love and um accept yourself you know because this isn't happening so you know similar to aries you've got there may be some things that you have to forgive yourself for in order to open up your heart for things like that. Is there anything else that you need to know? They're like, look, that unconditional love and support from the universe, from God, from your angels, your spirit guides, like that's there. But you have to wanna be open to it, to receive it, okay? And I think that will help you also get that insight and that clarity as to what it is that you want. And that, you know, um, to open up that hope and possibility that it is there for you to have. This doesn't have to be an icky month. Um, it can be an awesome month for you, but it, it depends on your choices right and you really determining and narrowing that focus so your crystal of the month is carnelian and um there's a lot of benefits for you especially given the situation here um there's a link to that in my description box below the article looks like this if you want to know what it does you can get it from your local rock shop maybe you already have one which is awesome and um i can also mail you one so i love you so much and i'll see you next month